Yeah, if something called, whatever you think called them, then what happened? Or what happened? Should be gone. I deleted it. Hello? Is anybody out there in Create with Sharon Hoppy Design Land? I do believe we are live. I am hoping the internet is going to stay up. Um, however, we are having a huge windstorm. And hey, Jen, we are having a huge windstorm. Look at this hair. It is a windblown mess. Um, but it is what it is. We'll stay up as long as the internet stays up and um, see where, how far we can get done. Um, so we're, oops, hold on. My computer's just doing wacky things. So I'm going to have to look at my phone on this because I don't see names and I want to I want to see names. Oh, my Facebook is doing weird things. Let's see. Where is it at on my phone? There it is. I can, hey. Okay, so I can see. Oh, let me turn my sand down. Okay, I see everybody now because I didn't invite you all to do the Ecamm thing. It's there now in case you need it. I see Peggy, Susan, Sheila, Deb, Lisa, Diane, Kathy, Jen. Uh, I see lots of y'all here. Um, as I was saying, hey Stacy. As I was saying, we are having one huge windstorm, so I am hoping that oh, internet will stay up. If it doesn't, I'll post the videos and you can at least watch the videos anyway. Um, I've just done some little short fun things tonight with the anticipation of this internet dropping on and off. I didn't wanna get into anything too heavy. So this is just kind of a thinking outside of the box um, holiday, hi Eddie, ho holiday party fun project. And you can take it any direction you want. You can use stencil, you can use rolling pins, you can use stamps, you can do no texture and use fun glazing. You can use under glaze transfers. Um, you can make them flat, you can make them in a bowl, you can make them with a fox in a box <laughs> and you can do all kinds of stuff hey sylvia let's see who else do i have that i'm not seeing hi marie and sydney Sind sydney sydney why can i not say your name i know your name and i see let's see who else is on here i think i've gotten air oh I did not say hi to Patricia. I see Patricia is also watching. So we are going to, it's 534. We're going to go ahead and watch the first video. Um, thank you guys again for all your well wishes. My gosh. You know, everybody thought 2020 was bad. I think 21, 2021 is worse for me. Um, I feel like just my family is going through the ringer. Although I know a lot of families are, so, um, you know, and we get through it, but it's, it's been a difficult one for sure. And certainly don't want this year to continue, but you know, it's almost over. Do you guys know we blinked and it's almost Christmas again? Um, it seems like we were, just, it seems like we were just wrapping Christmas presents and went to sleep and woke up and gosh darn, it's time to be making for Christmas and all of that stuff yet again. I just cannot believe it. Hey, Megan. So, um, with that in mind, this little project I want to tell you is fast. It is super, super fast. You can make this for gifts. You can make this for your own parties. You can make this for craft shows or art shows. <clears throat> you can make this in singles. You can make them in sets. Um, I, I just can't tell you how versatile and quick and easy this little project is. So with that, let me, <laughs> let me find 
You know, it's really hard to see. My computer's like way back there. Um, let me see where I need to be. Um, so I'm going to show the first one. It's kind of a little video back to back. And the first little video is very, there's no sound and the second video there is. So when the first one plays and you see no sound, um, don't panic, I'm not talking. I know that's unusual, right? Hey, Carla. Well, well, here we are, ready to have some holiday cheer. And tonight I'm going to show you a simple template with multiple ways of working with it, multiple things you can do, the way you can change it up, um, make it simple, make it complex, and even alter it if you need to. So I'm not rolling out a bunch of different textures because you've seen me roll them before. I actually started to cut right here and went, oops, I didn't turn the camera on. So I'll lay my template right back down there. But first I do want to show you if I can get this up here. Um, I want you to see how deep that texture is. I mean, that's like over an eighth of an inch. That is super, super deep. Your glaze is not going to cover that up. Um, I just want you to be aware that they are super deep. Anyway, um, again, here is this rolling pin. Um, just so that you can see it, you can see, I mean, can you see the depth of this here? Um, here, that's, that's just hugely deep. If I go any deeper than that, you know, I'm going to burn up or crack this pen. It is wood. So let's get started with this template. So here is this template. And yeah, that's kind of funny looking. What is it? If it looks like a duck, penguin head, what might it be? We're going to find out. So I'm going to try to line this back up where I had it, where I started that before, right there. And so what I'm going to do is get that right there. Okay, so I'm going to go around here and I'm going to go kind of, whoops, I slipped a pedal, but that's okay. Go around the edge and kind of go back around. This whole template is just very rounded edges, so you won't have to really worry about cracking at all. Very rounded. Now, you can do things like this with other things. I mean, you can find found items to make templates and things like that, but they wear out. They don't hold their shape. You cut the edges off. Um, and then you can't, you can't make them over and over. Now, some people don't like production. Well, that's okay too, because like with this template, you can use this over and over and over and make it different every single time. But you can have a set. Okay, so let me show you what this is. I'm going to take this little piece and set it up here for a moment. Okay, now, what is this you say? Well, this is almost for all practical purposes done as far as the work goes it's almost done how do you like that so i'm just going to come around and just clear clean these edges a little bit this is a super super quick easy easy project 
you can make a ton of these for shows, for family, for gifts, for parties. Um, they're perfect. They can be football parties, New Year's parties, Christmas parties, kids parties, baby showers, wedding showers, wedding parties. If there's a party to be had, how about just movie night with your kids? Maybe you just want snacks and a drink. Um, this is it. So let me show you. You can do a couple things. I'm going to put this on this template. And because I did cut on the brown side to lay it on here, I will have to lay it on the black side just because um, it's this one is not reversible, but that's okay. I'm just laying it on here so that I can pick this up. Now, what I would do is drop that so that it sticks so that it's going to dry flat. Something's on there. So it's going to dry flat. So this is a little, let me get you in the camera. This would be at a party, a little hors d'oeuvre tray. How fun is this? And watch this. I have my wine glass. I simply stick it in here and let it sit. Now I can carry around my wine glass and my snacks. Or I could go a step further and let me show you what that is. Let me take this off. Now I will tell you that you would have to size this piece with the wine glasses you have. You could make one to my template and if this isn't big enough with your clay shrinkage, then you can always, once you cut this out, you can trim a little bit so that when it shrinks, your wine glasses, um, yeah, this was a martini glass that I borrowed. I don't have any wine glasses. I don't drink wine, but um, you would have to cut this to the shape or just make it slightly bigger if you needed to for your wine glasses. But could you imagine a bunch of people walking around your house at a party carrying their wine glasses for Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve and they've got Santa, they've got Santa. And again, the depth of that is unbelievable. And they've got Santa and his sleighs and stuff. Kids would absolutely love this. Now, you could take it a step further. And that is, you could put, you could cut yourself a little foot. This, this would be included with the stencil. That's part of the set, but I didn't use yet. Cut yourself a little foot like that and put it on here very carefully. And then if you had a plate, your foot of your plate would sit right there so it wouldn't slip off. Or simply put your, your snacks on top of this. But this is a, a fun, fun party tray. Carry your wine glass, carry your snacks. Now we're gonna look at some other options. Okay, did you see that coming? Did you expect that to be that? Um, I'm going to show you three other, I believe three other, and did you see how quick that was? Um, I'm going to show you three other uh, designs of that exact same thing. You could do a four pack mix and match. You could do all kinds of things with this. And the best thing is, oh my gosh, five minutes and you have one made. So think about making a set of four, putting some raffia around it, giving it as a gift. Uh, but I'm gonna show you, let me see where I'm at. I'm gonna show you um, another one, another design of the same thing. I have, I made two with rolling pins and I made two with completely different stencils so that you could see what a wide variety and um, if you have stamps or whatever. So let me show you um, another version. Okay, this time we're gonna roll one out. I'm gonna use my snowflake pen. I want you to see just the amazing, every snowflake has um, something inside of it for added interest. Look at all of this. We have poinsettia, poinsettias, and again, 
the the depth of this is just amazing as well but we are going to roll this across here because i want to show you what a fun winter um little plate that would be so i'm going to roll this across i like to actually have it down on a coffee table where i can get across it um but i'll just roll it from up here That is just craziness. Look at that. That is, look at the depth. Can you see that in there? That's craziness. And the snowflakes are so fun. All right. So we are, where is my, my tray? Hold on. Okay. So this time I'm going to, um, get a bunch of these fun snowflakes and again um, where did I hope oh, there it is I'm going to start right here and just go around again this is a quick easy fun little project this little template you're gonna see just how versatile this template is because I'm going to show you something else here in a second. Okay. Bring this across. Bring this across. Move this out of my way. Now, if I wanted to put the little foot in the middle, I would simply use this, use my foot maker, and, whoops, and set that on the top very carefully. Um, but let me move this piece over here. Oh, that's two of them and I'm gonna set this aside because I'm not I'm not gonna put that little foot on the top there um, I am going to use my sponge and come around this edge just gently and I want to make sure this is really flat. So what I'm going to do is um, there. See how easy that is? Now, is that's what you want is to roll texture on it? You're done. I'm going to pick this up put it on this template so that I can move this very carefully now um, again I want you to see the depth of those snowflakes they are very very deep my pictures don't always show the depth I'm not a great photographer I am working on it, but that's deep. But again, people are walking around at a Christmas party. They can set their little wine glass in here and walk around with the little snacks and off you go. How fun. How fun is that? So I'm going to go set this one aside. I'm going to show you another way to use this. Okay. Gosh, the wind is killing my hair. Okay, so there's a second one. I'm gonna jump right into the third and the fourth, and then we're gonna talk about some do's and don'ts on this. Um, so here is um, another one. Let me see. Did I do the wrong one? That's just, I might have missed a, I might have missed adding one of my things in here. Okay, so let me let me do this snowflake one. I think I missed adding a video. Okay, do this one. Well, here we go again. This will be the last one I think I'm gonna show you today, but I'm gonna put black side down because I'm gonna to wanna to hold the stencil on the brown side where it will release. If I don't press this very hard, this will come right off. So I'm gonna come around here. I'm using my needle tool. You can use a knife. Whatever works best for you is the right way for you. 
There's that. Set this aside right here because I am going to use this in just a minute. I will be using that. So now I'm going to pull this off. Remember, it sticks to the black side a little bit. I didn't even think I was pressing down, but apparently I was. Okay, now I'm going to lift this up and put it on here. And wipe my edges just to get the crumbs off make them nice and rounded just it looks better looks more finished is more finished and gives your product a a much more polished polished look and that's what you're after right you want to take these slabs to fabulous and this project holy Smokes, guys, is a quickie, versatile, you name it. I mean, you can do so much with this. Okay, so now I'm going to take, let's see. So I had a while back done a three-tiered like cake plate with Spooktacular with three different um, Halloween circles. But I also have um, a snowflake set around circles, um, a woodland animal set around circles, a fabulous sunflower set around circles, and um, fun maple leaf set around circles. And I will tell you, this, this template and stencil right here is a 12 inch. And if you take, if you have already gotten the nine and a quarter round, because those work perfect with the minimal to make a minimalist plate. But if you've gotten the nine and a quarter round already, that works perfect with this as well. Look at this. I could do this with the woodland animals. And you know where that little cutout is? Yeah, so what? Just make that where it's not cutting off somebody's head or something maybe. But there, this would be like a more manly one. But those circles fit this template. I designed it to fit um, so that if you already had these rounds, you could use them as well. How gorgeous. You could take with the woodland animals, you could take and carve like um, on this little handle part, carve it to look like wood, wood grain. And then you've got a very um, fun outdoor theme for that. Or you could, um, it's, we're talking holidays right now. I poked it. We're talking holidays right now. So what about the snowflake round? You know, we did one with my snowflake rolling pin. How about the snowflake round? How fun is that for a holiday party? The sun, the fabulous sunflower, that's year round. Thanksgiving, fall year around so you could do something like this i think we're just gonna since it's holiday we'll go ahead and do the snowflake but i absolutely love this one as well okay so we'll just go ahead and do the snowflake since it's here and i'll just run that right off the edge because that works and um there. What do you think of that? And just for fun, I think I'm going to use, um, what do I have in this? Moody blue. I'm going to make this a two-tone blue just to, in the, not sure how much of this. This is a uh, stroke and coat Moody blue SC12. Um, I use it a lot, so I may not have much left in that. Oh, that's caribou blue may not have a whole lot left in this but what I'll do then I'll leave this sitting on my table upside down like that so it can be running down and um, I will take clean my brush I wasn't gonna do any glazing but it kind of gives you a better effect if you see it so 
I conditioned my brush in some water because I also had to clean it. So I'm just going to, um, I don't have much of this, but I'm going to um, go over it with another blue just to give it a wintry look. So hopefully that'll work. I guess I should have, I probably have more moody blue in the other room. I just went Sorokin coat shopping and bought a bunch. I should become a distributor for Stroke and Coat as much as I use it, right? I just love that it bisques, bisque fires so nice and glossy and then I love to dip it in clear after that so all of the all of the pieces of all my clay that's under the stencil that does not um, have an underglaze on it I like it to get the clear and have it nice and glossy as well. I just love the look. Might grow tired of it, but so far I have not. Um, let's see if any more came out of here. Oops, there went my lid. Oh crud. I'm making a mess. There went my lid. Yeah, I'm not really going to get much more out of that. So what I'm going to do is use another blue over the top of it. But I want to clean up this mess first. There's that. And there's that. All right, let's take, I love Blue Isle, and I also like Blue Yonder, but Blue Isle popped up first. So I'm just going to take it and dump it right in on top of that moody blue, because they're being mixed anyway. Blue Isle is 28. Now I'm going to stir that around and uh, and just bring this all over. And I want it streaky. Um, I don't want it perfect. I want to see a mixture of the two colors. Because when I take off my stencil, it'll give it that much more added interest. So I just kind of see how that muddles it, mottles it, I guess you would say. There. So, again, any of the rounds for the the minimalist plates or the three tier, the dessert snack trays, stuck it in my thing. Um, any of these match this 12 inch template. The nine and a half matches this 12 inch template and stencil. So just so that you know, that works. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh look, what an easy way to pull this off right here. Again, I wouldn't pull it off this early. I just do this so that you guys can see it. And look at that. How is that for a fun and fabulous snack tray with a wine holder? And so we've done four in this very short period of time. Okay, so that is one. I'm going to have you guys hang in there with me for a second because I forgot to add to my playlist, um, and then I'm going to answer all your questions, but I forgot to add to my playlist um, a video of the stencil that actually comes with this template, so I'm going to see if I can pull that in real quick. So hold that thought for just a second. Okay, now we're going to do something a little different. I'm just going to um, cut this out there with nothing there, just to show you a whole different variety of this. Um, and I think on this one, I'm actually going to flip it to the black side, and I'll tell you why. 
I want to put the clay on top of the brown side and I want it to match that so that I can um, use something else with it and then be able to get it off. And it, it does come off the black side, but not as quickly. And I need my template back to make yet another one. So the thing with this template is uh, you can make perfect sets and you can have whole sets for holiday parties, whole sets for kids' parties. Um, it's just, that's, you know, that's what I would do. I would make whole sets. Now we're on our fourth one or our third one in a matter of minutes. So this, could you imagine having a set of four of these with a uh, raffia tied around it and a little card on it and sell it at a, an art show or craft show um, giveaway as a holiday gift. Oh, how amazing and how easy. Okay, so it doesn't come off as easy on the black side right away, but um, I needed it. I needed it there for a good reason. I'm going to show you just a second. I'm going to get this wiped down real quick. Come around with my finger. And everything is rounded, so there's really no crack spots, which is good. Okay, so now what I want to do is make sure I lift this a little bit, just so it's not sticking. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on... The brown side just like that now I want to show you there is a stencil with this if you just want a, the stencil come oops I didn't finish reading this let me finish this just real quick okay I had a couple little spots I, I missed on the weeding so I'm gonna put this on here this stencil actually comes with the template um, but uh, I have a little spot right here I don't like, so I'm just going to go back around and pick that off. All right, so this template actually, or this stencil actually comes with it. And, um, but I wanted to show you the versatility first. So with my pony roller, I'm going to roll this on. Now, what in... You know, there's nothing up there, so I don't need to worry about that. But um, this, these are all little bitty hearts. There's hearts all around it. This could be um, gifts, bridal gifts from a bride to their, their bridesmaids. Um, they could have a little bridesmaid party where they have snacks and wine and... That's really martini, but, and wine. And then they can keep their plate as part of their bridal gift. Valentine's Day. Um, this is still festive enough for a holiday party. That's holiday-ish. So in addition to rolling texture, you can put a stencil on. Um, let me see if I have, let me see. If we talk holiday, Let's use a, I think I'm just going to use a teal blue, just because I wasn't really planning on glazing, and I don't even know if I have something to glaze in. Okay, before I glaze that, I want to show you this little section inside here. That's where you could actually put a foot on there and hold a plate so the plate wouldn't slide off. Um, it comes with that little piece. So you could take that little piece, put it on a piece of clay, and roll it in there slightly, just so that you can try to cut around this very easily. I'm holding it down with my finger to try to get in there good. Cutting around these is a little more difficult because they move. 
and uh, you don't want to cut them because then they're no good anymore. I have to hold it down as I go. Okay, so there's that. Let me move this out of the way. Well, I guess I should have saved that. I could have done a lot with that. Silly, silly me. Okay. Unhook this from my table. And get the stencil off. There we go. All right. Now, what I would want to do here is I will do this. I'm going to show you with this on. Okay. I'm actually going to score right here between the the stencil. Because I think it'll be much easier this way. And then I'm going to score this as well. Okay. Take my vinegar water and a little craft brush and put some of this in there. One of these days I'll get some magic water made back up, but in the meantime, vinegar water will work. It's 50% water, 50% vinegar, and though we tend to think more is better, don't add more than 50% of the vinegar. It will eat your clay. Okay, let me move this off to the side. making a mess here. All right, so now I can take and I can set this on here. Now, it might, what I may have to do, I might not be able to pull that stencil off without pulling my foot off. So what I think I'm gonna do is leave that sitting right there and I'm gonna put it on that, even though I'm gonna glaze over it, glaze is gonna help it stick as well. Okay. So, what I have here is some um, Stroke & Coat 82 Tuscan Red, uh, a gorgeous red, but Tuscan Red is very hard to find these days. I believe they're no longer making it, um, and so it's, whoa, that was, and it's really hard to get. Uh, I happened to get the last two bottles at my ceramic supply house. And I'm hoping they'll be able to get more in, but so I'm just gonna come around these hearts. I mean, I don't really need to waste my glaze on the non um, on the parts with just the stencil. In fact, I can probably glaze this without even hitting where the foot is gonna go. Well, the plate holder, and probably have no issues then putting that that little plate holder right in place to use this that makes it pretty easy now I'm going to come in here and get these I won't even touch where that foot goes slide right in there and I do want to put probably three good coats on here this is little bitty little bitty pieces and I want it to show bright bright red you could even you don't even have to texture these you can just do them a solid color and do some really cool glazing on them um, there's all kinds of things you can do with this little template. It is versatile, it is fast, it is unique, and uh, you can make sets and sell sets, and heck, you could even 
you could even you can even use this as a bread plate maybe set your little cup of butter there or put a knife in a bread knife in there but you could even decorate this to match your dinnerware set and use this as a breadboard on your table what ways can you think of put them in the chat I'm always excited to hear new ways to use my templates. So put it in the chat and let's see what unique ways you come up with. I'm excited to see that. Okay, so there's a couple coats. I'm gonna put just a hair more. Ooh, that's runny. Hold on. Let me let me shake, shake, shake this. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. It's a little on the runny side, and I want this to be nice and thick on there. Oh, much better. Okay. Let's stir this up good. All right. This is going to be like coat number three. And I'm really just trying to hit where the little hearts are, um, especially with this stroke and coat 82 because it's hard to get and it's gorgeous when it's fired. And so I chose this bright red because of the hearts. Again, this can be a holiday plate. This can be Valentine, bridal shower, you name it. Um, this particular stencil can be all of those things. Okay. All right, now I am gonna go ahead and pull this off. Normally I would let it dry, but I am gonna go ahead and pull this off and then put this foot on just so that you can see. And I call it a foot, it's really a plate holder in this scenario. But let's go ahead and pull this up. Oops, I forgot that was coming up. Look at that, wow. Now, wouldn't that make such an awesome, just that simple design, um, an awesome Valentine's, bridal shower, holiday, all kinds of uses for this. Now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna have to be very careful that I don't drop this in my um, glaze. So I have to be very careful here. I think I'll start it right here where it starts. And hopefully I didn't stretch it. Oh, perfect. Whoops. Out of the lines. Don't color outside the lines. There. How's that? Now, I'm going to very carefully... Let's do this. I'm going to very carefully just set this on top. And press it so that that little plate holder is down even. That took care of that. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and very well, very carefully, very carefully, not drip on this. And I got a half sponge, a little sponge. I'm gonna come around these edges just to smooth them off and round this from the spots I had on it where I touched it. Come around this side. That looks good. Okay, now I am going to take my craft brush and I'm going to dip it in the water and I'm going to very carefully, I see I did hit a heart there, but I'm going to take this and Get that glaze off of there where I hit the heart. You got to be real careful. You can clean this one up really well. You can't even hardly see where I smeared that heart now. And I can see right here, I kind of didn't get it super rounded, so I can push out with my craft brush 
and get that rounded back out there. And then I can also pull it in from the outside and go around these edges. That's also going to secure my join so it doesn't crack off of here. So it'll secure that join. Be careful of your hearts when you're doing this. And come around the back side again. Watch your watch your glaze. You don't want you don't want to hit your glaze. And there. Now I can come around here and clean this up, or I can leave it the heck alone and clean it up after it gets a little more leather hard and my glaze is a little more dried. But again, this right here is going to hold a plate in place, the foot of your plate. Now, I don't, I want this to come out a little more curved and this to come in a little more. Yes, that's just being a little extra fussy, but there, now it's more round. And again, I have it sitting on my template so I can pick this up and look at this. Your plate will sit there. Your Now, is that a gorgeous bridal shower, baby shower, Valentine? Can you imagine serving your Valentine up like this? That's awesome. Okay, so there's that. So that's another way to use this template. And this stencil does come with it, which also includes this piece. So even if you don't use the stencil, but you want to put the foot thing to hold your plate in place, you're going to have that with this whole three-piece set. So there's that. Now I even have a different way to use it. Okay, so how's that for different? Save the best for last accidentally because I forgot to put that video in the lineup. Um, but the, the template comes with that stencil and the foot ring. But I wanted to show you first all the different things you could do with that. Um, the name of that template, I think I called it Snack and Wine Tray. It's in the specialty sets. Um, so some do's and some don'ts. So what I would say to do is roll out your clay a little thicker because this is going to be its own little um, tray. I think I would want it a little thicker. Um, my, my clay, Mr. Wilson rolled out and uh, I wasn't sure of the project at the time, but again, if I would have rolled my clay specifically for this project, I would have rolled it a little thicker. That will also um, help to um, keep it from warping. And so what I do when I'm done with the making of it, I will take it and I drop it hard so that it sticks to my wear board or my template or whatever I have it on. And so that will help it from warping. Also, when it dries, if it's a stencil with glaze, or when it sets up more, if it's a texture, because I don't want to scrunch my texture, but once, once it gets a little more leather hard, then what I'll do is I'll take another wear board or another template, put it on and flip it over. And um, this time I'm not gonna drop it hard because I don't want to squish texture, but I'll set it down and then I'll set a template on the top of it with maybe a, um, or a form or a dual drape or something not too too heavy just to kind of keep it flat while it dries um, because this is going to be a little tray you want it to be flat if you didn't want maybe you wanted this to be a cheese board um, so you didn't want the little wine cut out well when you're cutting out your template just cut the circle and don't go into the little notch of the wine template. Now you have the cutest little wine, or cheese board um, that you could also use. Yes, the I can't say that word. It doesn't roll off my tongue very well, so I say wine board, uh, cheese board. Um, but it's that. What? Who said that? Who put that on there? Misty. Yes. What Misty said. That's the word. 
Thank you, Misty. But so, so you have a perfect little cheese board. Um, uh, let's see. I was thinking earlier there was something else that it's perfect for, and now I lost that train of thought. Um, so let's see. Somebody asked. I'm not sure who this is. I'm guessing the curve at the back edge is where your hand goes to hold the piece. Um, it, it's kind of decorative, but yes, you can, if you had, it fits kind of the palm of your hand right here, and then you put your thumb on the end, and you can hold it all as you go. It's just a little easier. Um, let me see who that is. Marie, that was Marie. Okay, um, let's see. I named the template. Miss Stencil. Uh, Stacy, I'm going to hold yours and, oh, you're not, um, in the Slab to Fab, we're doing a similar type thing, and I do exactly kind of what Stacy said. I actually take and make a bowl out of it and curve my handle up, but I put finger holes in it, so it's a snack dish, so to speak. So, great minds, Stacy. Um, let's see, here we go again. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Um, I really wanted to show you this just like I said, fast. I mean, you can't almost get any faster. Go thicker with your clay. Fast, versatile, and just think of craft shows, art shows, gifts, um, parties. Do you name it? This little template can do it all. It can do so many different things. Um, yes, the foot is really a plate holder. Um, let's see, started using only magic water. Yeah, it's, I, I use the magic water or the vinegar. It does eliminate the dirt, the messy slip. Um, a lot of times I'll take my magic water and just throw my little excess pieces in there and make a slippy magic water. Um, I like that too. Let's see. Access some of the older videos. I don't remember if the Christmas tree video was in this group or when I had the other group that I no longer have, but I'll look in that other group and see if um, that video is in there. Miss Jen would like that stencil for a round or the um, oval. We can probably do that. Uh, let's see. Or just stencil, I think. Oh, back when you guys were talking about the clear. So I have never brushed 2167. I use it to dip, and I try to dip almost everything I can in clear because it eliminates brushing, obviously. Um, but if I brush, I uh, am right along with Jen and Stacy. I use uh, Mako's Zinc Free Clear, and I pretty much always use a Zinc Free Clear because you never know what your glaze, if it's gonna react. So I just always use ink free. And I don't brush as often as I can get away with it. And let's see, so when we use it, oh, okay, so who was this? Um, it says Facebook user, I'm not sure who this is. But, so when you use the templates, we should have the black side up normally. Okay, so let me explain on that. So the black side, if the template is versatile, like it's either direction, either way, I would put the brown side down on the clay and cut around it, uh, only because it, it pulls off the brown side quicker. It will pull off the black side if you finesse it a little bit or you wait and let it dry a little bit, but it will pull the brown side very easily. Um, if, like in this case, that template is not the same flipping it over, I would rather put the black side down to cut around and then pop it off so that I can then put the clay on the brown side. So when I roll my stencil or do whatever, it will pop off easier for me after I've put the work into it. So that's why I do that. But either side will work. You just have to wait longer on the black side. Um, I think, I think I've, pretty much hit all of the questions. Okay, anybody else have ideas that this can be used for? Uh, how do you lay out what the best thing is to play? Um, for the
for the cheese board, I would, what's after a quarter, three eighths? The three eighths, I'd go closer to that three eighths. Because again, it'll help you keep it from warping. It'll be thicker. And then of course you're um, gonna be uh, carrying it around as a plate. So a little bit thicker would be good. Um, if you were doing it as a cheese board or that word that uh, Misty said, you could put feet on it even. You could put little feet. And again, where the little cutout is for the wine glass, just go whoop right around that and don't do that little cutout and you have a perfect little cheese board. And that? Um, on my round stencils, the nine and a quarter fits this and it fits the same thing. We're, we're doing a different design in the slab to fab group. Um, and the nine and a quarter will fit that too. And I know that just recently when we came out with those rounds, um, we had a lot of orders for those. So I wanted to come up with something that you could use those for as well. So this template works with those if you've already got them. And, um, you know, you can even, you could even, um, just carve in the middle of this. If you want to carve a flower or use a stamp, so many different things you can do with this simple little template. I just love it. Um, let's see. Paint palette. You could turn it into a paint palette. Yes, you can. Uh, oh, and we were at 630. So I am going to have to jump off here because I need to go. Who put that up for me? Oh, it's Misty. If I could hear you, I would have you say that word. I, it doesn't come out for me very well. But I love the word. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Okay. Did I get close? <laughs> anyway, um, for those of you in my Slab to Fab group, jump on over into the Slab to Fab group. I'll be there in three minutes. I have to run down the stairs real quick and then come back up. And... Um, the, this template is up on the website. It is under specialty sets, along with one we're going to use in the other group. And um, I will see you guys uh, throw out this week, but again, for sure, on next Thursday evening. Thank you guys all for joining us.